at Farmer City tonight. Uh, just a weekly show. Uh, really disappointed we didn't get to go up to uh, Mississippi Thunder. They're putting on a great deal, and it looks like uh, a fun track. But we're just uh, not quite ready yet. A lot of racing coming up. Uh, getting just trying to get a little tune-up this weekend for uh, the Speed Week next week. You know, we got a, a lot of money on the line and a lot of good tracks for us. So just hoping that we can, uh, you know, learn a little bit more stuff and uh, keep the workload light next week uh, uh, so we can be prepared for a busy week. But uh, just uh, trying to work on our qualifying program. That seems to be where we struggle the most. So we're just uh, here again. Hopefully uh, the track's going to be fast, but it doesn't look like it. And uh, we'll just keep uh, doing what we can do. We've been, uh, been really good here at Farm City. So obviously one of my favorite tracks. So hopefully we can... Uh, rip off another win and, and learn a little bit in the process.
getting this thing tuned up for next week, aren't you? Yeah, let's hope so. Uh, you know, been, I love coming here, and uh, it's definitely my favorite tracks to come. And uh, car's been really good. We still got to qualify better. That qualifying effort's not going to get it done uh, come uh, next Friday. But uh, the car has been really good in the slick. It race is really good. So if we get it qualified, uh, we'll be really good. But uh, feels good. I just got to thank everybody that helps me. Tom Scott's on here, multi fire plug wires, uh, family, the crew guys have been busting our butts just trying to get ready for that big week next week. And uh, we're going to go to February tomorrow and tune up some more and get ready for next week. I tell you what, you never get tired of the, uh, the going down here at the horse track and seeing all the fans. Yeah, absolutely. It's the first time they give me a flag all year. I've been just having to get my hand out the window or something. But I finally got the checkered flag to go around a big lap. But got a, got a lot of familiar faces out there, a lot of fans on that fence, uh, a lot of people having a good time. So something cool about this uh, track, though, you know, and uh, you never want it's going to be your last win. So you just got to, you know, be happy with all of them. And I always take that big lap, and it's just a good memory just to soak everything in for a minute, no matter if it's a regular show or a big show here. But I love doing that big lap and uh, saluting all the fans, and thanks for coming out. All right. Lance? <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> All right, get her in that picture. Come on, Abby. Where the win? Ha, where the win? What are you doing? Hi, baby. Woo. Hold the flag. Win. Win. Over here. Hey. All right. Let's get the crew. Cole, right. come on up. We need to. We probably need to get some spray. Maybe when Harrison put the leave a bigger one on there and put a spacer. I hate that though, but it never runs. So it all was about the same, no matter what I did. Yeah. yeah. At the end, I felt like the black definitely got a little faster, you know. A but little bit, but not. Them guys were. Half second. I still this feel like seven tenths better than anybody. Well, so, but who else put on a forty? A winger, Bob G. I think he did. Who got second? Day car. Uh, yeah, he had a thirty on. Yeah. So, but you were, you drove. Well, I seen him there. and Winger and. Everybody. Yeah, you could see them. Well, then I was gonna. I got the Logan. And they said five to go, and I was kind of just gonna ride. And then I'm like, eh, fuck it. I can't. The problem is it's really dark where you are. You almost need to come one more pull this way. And then I'm at the light. No, no, this way. Oh, this way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, like, I can kind of, like, if you get up in the middle and big, I can see, but, man, like, you get close to that pole, it's so dark, I can't. Well, there's people there. So yeah. I move over. I don't know. The fucked up thing is when you get to them lap cars, it sounds like there's somebody behind you. Yeah. I'm hearing them, and everybody really sounds like somebody, but I've never really, usually I'm in the gas way more, you know, so, but I can really hear because I'm not eating the fuel. No, it was quiet. When you went by me, it sounded like crated. The first few laps, the first few laps, I'm like, all right, get back off the fuel dummy, just start putting again. Yeah. And then uh, I got a little front brake point, a couple cranks up front, and then I was like, that's when it yeah. got way better.